Hi, this is Info Puppet, and today we're going to talk about animation. And I'm going to tell you right now, you're going to love this animation tutorial. So keep watching and check it out, because my next Photoshop Elements tutorial is on. Photoshop Elements is open and the first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab the layers panel down here and left click hold and drag it out of its dock and put it onto the stage and I'm going to just left click and drag to drag this thing out so we can see what's going on in this animation. So next let's click let's select file new and blank file and there's the new window that's everything looks good and I'm going to select OK. Now I'm going to drag my file over. Now you want a solid color in the background and not just transparent. Alright, so now let's go to the toolbar and we're going to go down to the horizontal type tool. There it is, horizontal type tool. Now I'm just going to click on the file and just type click here. Alright, now I'm going to grab the move tool, which is the first tool in the toolbar, and uh, slide click here up. So I have a text layer and a background layer right now. We're going to go down to the first little icon at the bottom, which is create a new layer, and click on it, and there's my new layer. Alright. So now let's go back over the toolbar, select the horizontal type tool again, and once again, click our type, whoops, we fix that, click here. Alright, I'm grabbing the move tool now, and I'm sliding the click here text over. Now I'm going to click on create a new layer again, and here's my new layer, and again I'm going to select the horizontal type tool, and once again, I'm going to type out, click here. I know, I know, I haven't lost it, I haven't just, what am I doing? Well, just hang with me guys, I'm going to show you what's going to happen here. So we've got our three click here. So now I want to make them a little different. So I'm going to grab the first one and make it a little bit bigger. i right, click on the check mark. And I'm going to go to the, the last one and make that a little smaller. And there you go. So click on the green check mark. So what I have now is a large click here, a medium, and a small click here. And I'm going to kind of stack them on top of each other like that. Have I lost it? Yeah, that's what I want. Okay, next, we have to get three background layers also. So I'm going to uh, right click and select duplicate layer and OK. And there's another one. Right click again and select duplicate layer and OK. And boom, I've got my three text layers. One, two, three. And my three backgrounds. One, two, three. Three text layers and three background layers. Now I'm going to click and hold shift down to select uh, a text layer and a background layer and select merge layers. Okay. And you can tell that this is a merge one because it says click here um, in the icon instead of a T. Okay, so there's my merge layer. So let's do it again. Hold shift down and select a text in the background and then select merge layers. Wait a minute, it's not there. I don't know why, but that happens sometimes. So just right click again. And now I can select merge layers. Okay, alright, I'm going to left click and drag this up again. And my last two layers, my text layer and my background layer, I'm holding the shift key down to select them at the same time. And I'll select merge layers. And there you go. I now have three merge layers uh, with text and a background, which is what you need for an animation. All right. Let's go ahead and kick it up a little bit now and select some colors. Now I'm just going to select like a light purple, like right about there. Looks good. Click on OK. Now I'm going to select the paint bucket tool. And I'm going to click in there. And I drop purple. You can't see it. Let me turn off these other two layers. And there's my purple, but I got to click inside the ease. There you go. Isn't that beautiful? All right. So um, now I'm going to click on the eyeball so I can see my second layer of text. And I'm going to click on the swatch again. I'm going to go with a little bit darker purple. And I'm going to select OK. And click on the layer and then click in the layer with the paint bucket tool. And click in the ease. And there you go. Now I'm going to uh, click on the eyeball on the top layer so I can see it. There it is. And now I'm going to select the, the swatch again, the color swatch, and I'll select even a darker color purple and select OK and click on that. And click in the E. Oops, I can hit Control Z. I made up, messed up. Control Z is the universal undo. Okay, in case you mess up. All right, now I've got my three uh, different colors and I'm going to select save for web that's the big key here and there it is the save for web oh my gosh what do we do let's take a closer look okay first thing is forget about this stuff on the right just want to make sure that's a gif and 
animation is selected. Makes sense, right? We're doing an animation. And then down here, the delay, um, you can select like a one second delay, two second, five second delay, ten second. But for right now, two tenths of a second delay is what I want, so I'm good. The loop, if we uncheck the loop, that means it'll go through every one of our slides and then stop. If we check it, it'll go through all the slides and start again and keep going in a continuous loop. So that's what we want, a continuous loop. So I'm going to select OK. The Save Optimize As window opens up. I'm just going to call this Animated7.GIF and save. All right, let's open this up. We're in Photoshop Elements. Let's check this thing out and select File and Open. And where is that? Animated, there it is, Animated7. Let's click on that and select Open. And oh, what's this? Oh no! This is an animated GIF. GIF, you can only view one frame. Saving this file will result in loss of information. Oh my god, what does this mean? I can't listen to this puppet. I can't do this Photoshop element thing. Why do I listen to the puppet? Why, why? And here is our file. And, well, nothing's happening. I know I should have not listened to the puppet. Why do I listen to this dummy? Well, let me show you what's going on here. You can view something for the web just in Photoshop Elements. You can go to Finder uh, if you're using a Mac, and I'll put some text up if you're not using Mac right there. And look, there is the animated GIF, and there's the animation. You must have seen this type of thing a million times on a website to grab somebody's attention. That's the basics for doing an animated. You can do a drawing and make it move, but that's the beginning of it. There's your animation tutorial. Hope you guys love it. Please subscribe. Thanks a lot from Info Puppet.